What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fair Use, guys. And today, you won't believe this, I have a video of a sister who tried to force her boyfriend to marry her. She tried to do it for three months, and you never guess what he did. So we're gonna get into the actual video right now. Let's go. So after I gave him the ultimatum, he just looked at me in my face and was like, if you feel like you need to move, move. Okay, so here's what's going on, guys. She's been dealing with this dude for some years. And she's given the ultimatum, like you need to marry me or else. Now, let me kind of talk about this, right? Because many guys deal with women that deal in ultimatums. Either you're the guy receiving them or you're the guy giving them. Let me tell you what I'm talking about, all right? Um, whenever you get to ultimatums, the relationship typically is over, all right? And even if you have a come to Jesus talk, like, listen, you know, you're being disrespectful and I don't really appreciate the way Sam usually you are being disrespectful, saying that my hairline is, is dusty and all that stuff. Like, if you don't stop talking about my hairline, I'm out. Like, once you get to that level, usually, and you want to progress, and you have to force somebody to do it, it's over. Never give ultimatums, okay? If people don't want to do something, you should just leave because once you do the ultimatum, what you're indicating is that you're powerless. And I liked how he handled it. Listen, if you want to go, take your ass off. All right? Just go. I don't want to marry you. It is what it is. You're not going to force me to do something I don't want to do because you are a crazy mother effer. Let's go. And so we went through three months of like chicken where I had no friends in Vegas, no family in Vegas. I just really blurted that out. I did not mean it. I had no intention. I had no job. I had nothing. I had no plans on moving to Vegas. I thought I was going to. So you just told the man like an idiot, I'm going to move to Las Vegas if you don't marry me. And let me just let me just say this, right? many things that women are doing are bluffing guys. It's playing stupid games. You know, this is a game. All right. Instead of her trying to come with an ultimatum, what would have been mature of her is like, listen, I want to progress the relationship to the next level. What is it that's stopping, you know, you from wanting to marry me or what are some of the things that you feel that I can work on? Or if it's not, let me know and then go at it that way. Then maybe with that kind of respect and that kind of response, the man is able to, you know, answer that. But what happened is that the reality is he tired of you. He tired of you um, because it, you have some flaws that are in your character that he don't like. It might just be you got some good coochie for right now and he don't have nobody else. But as far as seeing you dealing with you long term, He's already seen some long-term problems and flaws that maybe the guy has even talked to you about before, but you don't want to listen. And that's what happens a lot of times. Women in relationships, when it comes to men, I'm pretty sure he's black. You want to talk to the men about what they need to change. But how many women are listening to what men say? It goes in one ear, out the other. Okay? And when a lot of men start to see those repetitive habits not changing, we won't say nothing because as long as we still gonna get the ass, we gonna take it. <laughs> Usually. Most men are not strong enough to say, all right, well, I'm not gonna marry you, but I'm gonna stop sleeping with you. Most men are too dumb to do that. This is why men end up getting somebody pregnant that they don't wanna be with. They end up getting somebody, you know, um, more kids they don't wanna be with. Instead of just being like, look, it's not working out. You're not who I wanna be with, just go. No, we like that easy butt that we've been getting or easy sex we've been getting because you know it's it's available to us. So this guy is still hitting it. Booty slapping sounds? For sure, he's still slapping, right? But he don't want nothing more than that, okay? But what is she doing? She's playing games, talking about where she going, ain't got nowhere to go, looking a goddamn fool, okay? But watch what happens. I thought I was gonna force this man to propose to me. For three months, he was like, do what you gotta do. You wanna move, move. You're gonna force this man to propose to you. And he says, for three months, do what you gotta do. 
Meaning why? Look, look, you can go. You're crazy. You're deranged. I don't want to deal with your ass. You can go. Let's go. You want to move, move. So the last day I was putting my stuff in the car, he came over and helped me put my stuff in the car. And we putting stuff in the trunk and I just start crying. I'm like, you really going to let me leave? He looked at me and he said, have a safe trip. Can I get that da 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 sound effect? Let me say this, baby. That man was tired of you. So tired of you that um, some guys will lash out, like cuss you out when they're tired of you. He didn't do that. He was so tired of you. He wanted you to have a nice trip. So much so, he came and helped you move. He wanted you to get the f off. He was thanking God that the church music, Jesus Christ, Lord, I will come and help you move. I have been that way for at least one person in my life where it was so bad I called her and told her, I said, listen, man, whatever dude that you messing with on the side, have him come over here and get your shit. I will help you get in the car. That is how much that man really hated you. Think about it. Look how, look how tactical that is. It wasn't no arguing. It wasn't no fighting. He wanted you to get the f on. And then listen, look, 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 look at that. It don't take all of that, guys. It don't take all the calling names and you will be and I can't stand you. I, you know, we can all get upset. But you, you look how he controlled his emotions. And guess what? If he ever wants her back, no matter who she is dealing with, she will always go back because she can't move the guy. Now, let me just say this. Some of you guys are getting bullied by women. Um, Jada Pinkett style, okay? She wants to force you to do something. You know what my granddad used to tell me? Don't no woman run me, all right? And that is true masculinity right there. Masculinity is not cursing women out and telling them what you're gonna do and all that. You wanna move, I'ma help you move, and you won't play these games by your goddamn self. Let them play them games by themselves. And then you drive your ass down to Las Vegas where you don't know nobody and you don't have a job and you gonna go over there by yourself because I'm not going with you. You gonna play by my program or are you gonna go by yourself? That's what she learned. And more men to learn that too. And even if you don't have nobody to replace her with, who gives a shit? At least you got your sanity. How would you like being married to somebody crazy like that? But guys, I'm out. Gary, how much time we got? Eight minutes. Eight minutes? Still going? Yes, still going. All right, we're gonna keep it like that. We're gonna let Gary talk on the goddamn episode. We about to be out, guys. Subscribe at the bell. Listen, these are always fun. I got to do some stuff. Um, I got to get my uh, uh, perm did. But guys, we out. Peace!